Hi, welcome to Cupid's Tarot. As you can see, I am back. I'm happy to be back. I did really appreciate the break I took, but I'll be honest, I was thinking about this channel all the time, right? I was just thinking about the different directions I want to go with this channel, what I want to do, some things, you know, all my planning. I couldn't stop planning, so I'm back. And the topic for today's reading is titled, What Will They Never Tell You? And the reason I decided to do this reading was because, I don't know, I came across this one reading um, a couple weeks ago where it was, what do they want to tell you or what would they tell you if they, you know, one of those types of titles. And instantly in my mind, I was just like, okay, but what if they don't, you know, like, what it, what is something that they will never ever tell me and maybe that's being nosy I don't know maybe that's being nosy uh, let me know in the comments <laughs> if you think this is just extra nosy for no reason but anyway uh, before we get into your groups and the readings I do want you guys to know that I am open for private readings if you want to book a reading with me you can do that um, there will be a link in the description box below. Also, go ahead and follow me on Instagram and, uh, yeah, all of that. <laughs> oh, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed, okay? So, group one is going to be this little cross. Group two will be this marble. And group three will be this silver key. Of course, there will be an image inserted here so that you can pause the video and meditate on which group is yours. All timestamps for the groups will be in the description box below. Hi, group two. Oops, I don't know why I said group two, but I meant group one. <laughs> Hi, group one. Let's get right into your reading and see what will they never tell you. Um, of course, this is timeless. I should have said this in the intro, but uh, this is timeless, and this does not have to be in regards to a romantic connection. This can be in regards to any type of relationship you are having, anybody you're thinking about. Um, of course, uh, take the messages as they resonate and leave what does not. Group one, what will your person never tell you? Mm, we have the Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups, mm. Uh, also, I'm just going to put out a trigger, war trigger warning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I'm going to put out a trigger warning. Because we don't know what's going to come through. So we have Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups, Four of Cups. I want to pull some more cards. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, so mm. Mm. Okay. This is tough. This is tough. Um I'm thinking of that meme. I can't even, because there's so many different memes. But basically, you know where people are like, you know, when you when you go and look through his messages or whatever and find what you need to find something. You know what I'm saying? Like, basically, you find what you were looking for and now it's not good. This is basically what we're doing right now. Um, so, disclaimer. 
this is not good news. All right. Um, first of all, we have the Knight of Cups, clarified by the Queen of Wands. Then we have this Ace of Cups, clarified by the Knight of Wands. Four of Cups, clarified by the Eight of Coins. Um, what I see here, this is somebody who doesn't want you to know that they have stepped outside of this connection. Um, now, this does not, you don't have to be like in an official relationship um, you know, take how it resonates. However, this can apply to your situation if it does apply. But basically, they wouldn't. They don't want to tell you that they've gone outside of this connection. They've entertained other people. They've um, uh, slept with other people. Even this person, uh, for some of you, could also have gotten somebody else pregnant. They don't want you to know that they've gotten somebody pregnant. Um, For some of you, they are, for some of you, this person is having a continuous fling with somebody here with this Queen of Wands. Um, this definitely seems like a fling type of energy, Knight of Cups. This could be like an older woman or an older person, somebody who's just more experienced sexually than your person, um, whoever you're asking about. Uh... But yeah, this, these two nights, it really does feel like super immature energy, right? Um, when I think of the Knight of Cups, I think of like this Casanova, sweet talker, uh, just very affectionate type of guy. You know, somebody who can kind of like uh, just warm his way into, you know, people's hearts, you know, can get just very sweet type of energy like that, you know, but... Really, he's a player. He's a, you know, he's a nice guy. He's a really nice Casanova type of guy, you know? He's friends with all the girls. That's kind of the vibe I get from the Knight of Cups. This Knight of Wands, this is big fuckboy energy to me all the way. This is like, um, you know, on to the next. Like, yeah, this, we had this Ace of Cups moment, but er, on to the next, you know? The foot on the gas as as soon as they can. You know what I mean? Um, and so I'm, I'm getting this vision of somebody who, uh, when they're bored or when they're lonely or when they, um, yeah, like when they're bored or when they're lonely, they, they seek out other people, you know, um, and they don't, I don't see them taking it very seriously at all. Um, mm. I am seeing that this person could have gotten somebody pregnant or had a pregnancy scare or this is about them uh, not using protection with these people. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my goodness. Hmm. But yeah, with this five of pentacles here, I'm not sure. I feel like this is them... Is saying like this is because they, hmm, there's some type of insecurity that this person is dealing with, um, which is why they behave like they're behaving in this way. Um, there's something that they, there's some type of scarcity I'm getting like with this Five of Pentacles. It, I can't really describe it. I, I'm, I guess it's because I can't really pin down what it pertains to. Um, but I do feel overall it's basically saying that this person is not in a place, they're not mature enough, they're not ready for something serious right now, or um they're they're still in a part of their they're still in a in a part of their life that uh they they still require a lot of growth, basically. And that's what I'm seeing with this page of coins. This person um, I'm saying that this person is learning some things. This person's going through um, lessons, right? This person's going through spiritual lessons. This person, um, I'm also just getting just a little selfish, but I don't know. I was looking at this Queen of Wands. They're selfish right now. 
Um, yeah. They're definitely a player. Mm, this person's definitely a player. But they're they're learning some really important lessons about themselves right now, which is why they, they aren't they can't really give in a wholesome type of way to this connection. I don't know if that makes sense. Like yeah, so I mean if y'all are in a serious connection or y'all are in some type of official relationship, take that as it may. But if you guys are not in a relationship or you're not in an officially together or whatever, um, I would tell you that there's a reason for it and it's because this person's going through some other stuff. They're they're learning some new things about themselves. They're dealing they're dealing with a lot of stuff. They're dealing with some inner inner child stuff. Yeah. They're dealing with some inner child stuff. Um so they need this time to kind of do what they're doing, basically. Yeah. So like and and this is only for the people where like y'all are not like officially together, y'all aren't exclusive or whatever. Um just for y'all, I want y'all to know that I'm not getting really anything malicious here or shady or sneaky. Um they're just kind of moving, you know, they're kind of just doing their own thing. Now for those of you who um are in a connection like a in an official relationship with this person um this person is a child this person is behaving like a child um and this person uh yeah i would say you're better off breaking up with them you know what i'm saying if this is your person and y'all are like in a official type of connection because I'm seeing that they, they're just, they're not considering you. Okay. Um, I'm also getting like what they, what they'll never tell you is that they need to be single is what I'm getting too. Like, I'm saying that I'm, they'll never tell you that. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just had a moment where I was just feeling it like this person does care about you is what I'm getting but they are going through something very personal spiritually right this per like I said with the lessons okay they're going through something very personal and And it's keeping them from committing because they know that they need this time to, to be free, basically. And in this time, they have been sleeping with other people, it looks like, or dating with other, dating other people, what have you, um, just for fun is what I'm getting. Like, these aren't serious things, it's just they're doing it for fun, they're just allowing themselves to meet new people and you know yeah i don't know it's it's very yeah it's like that but it's like they don't know they i feel like they wouldn't know how to tell you so a part of them just feels like they should just never tell you hmm i don't know that's interesting right there But uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave that right there for group one. I don't know. I'm kind of stunned. Like, I was not expecting this. Um, My first reading back. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not done because I was going to get some other cards. Okay. I was kind of taken aback. I did not expect this to come through. Let's get one card from this person. Um, What will group one's person never tell them? I want 
want to hold you. Mm. I want to hold you. Yeah. I'm I'm definitely not getting any type of shady shady energy from this pile. It's kind of like this person they they care about you. They just they feel very comfortable with you is what I'm getting. They feel very comfortable with you. And they like holding you. They like being around you. You could be a water sign um or a fire sign. I feel like I'm actually wanting to say more like yeah, water sign, fire sign. Yeah, they just like being close to you. They're comfortable with you. And I feel like that's what it is. It's they're, they're comfortable. And they know that there's just so much else. There's so much. They know that they're not ready. They're not ready. Okay, that's what I'm getting. They're not comfortable. They know they're not comfortable just leaving things where they are. They need to. They need to explore the world more. And I don't. And I'm not really getting that this has to do with people either. Like I don't think this has to do with like exploring other people necessarily, or like. You know, it's not all about that. This is about their mind. This is about their life. Their yeah. This is about their mind. Okay, because they're they're learning things, and I feel like this person likes to learn. This page of coins here, this person likes to learn, or they enjoy learning, or they take it very seriously, and so they're taking this time in their life very seriously in terms of like what it is they need to learn and experience. I just heard thank you, so they want to tell you thank you. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna end that there for group one because oh my gosh i hope this resonated if it did go ahead and give this video a thumbs up make sure to leave a comment subscribe if you're not already subscribed and i will see y'all the next reading bye two welcome to your reading we're gonna go ahead and get right into what your person will never tell you of course this reading is timeless um and what was the other thing oh and it doesn't have to be about a romantic interest um uh, so just take the messages how they resonate <laughs> uh okay We're going to get right into your reading. What will group two's person never tell them? What will they never tell you, group two? Group one's, group one's message was um, very shocking. Oh, trigger warning as well. Queen of Swords, Two of Cups, mm. Nine of Swords, huh? Can we clarify the Queen of Swords, please? I see. Mm. Huh.
This is interesting. I'm seeing somebody. I'm seeing somebody who's a perfectionist or somebody who is some type of control freak or they want things to go their way. Somebody who wants things to go their way. Um, somebody can also be idealistic. But when things don't go the way they've planned or the way they've hoped or the way that, you know, they asked, they can get pushy. Right, they can get pushy. Uh, this person may also tend to get obsessive, okay, um, and they try and force things to go how they want them to go, and it all, it all, of course, comes from this fear over here, this nine of swords, this fear of. Back group two. Um, I don't exactly remember exactly what I said because my mom called and we talked for a minute. But um, <clears throat> I do remember saying that this person, it looks like when they don't get what they want, they seem to throw a fit or they, um, they do things to take control, right? This person can be obsessive. Um, when I was on the phone, I saw something in the cards that I definitely have to say. Um, so this this is definitely not going to be for everybody. So please take what resonates. Protect yourself if you feel like you need to be protected. Um, but I do feel like this person, for some of you, um, do, like, does spell work. They do some type of spell work on you. They could possibly be doing like love spells or love like I don't I'm not really into all that. So I don't know. Um, I'm not really into the depths of all that. So I can't really explain too much. But I am seeing somebody um, doing like some ritual ritualistic type of behavior in order to to gain control over the situation or over you. Um, I'm hearing puppet. So somebody. This person sees you as like a puppet or um, like their puppet, okay? Yeah, like they feel like you're their puppet. But yeah, this person will never tell you, for some of you, that they put put a spell on you or they did some type of spell work on you or I'm mean, hearing even like a voodoo type of deal because I'm seeing these swords coming down. But yeah, if that's not you... Disregard that. I'm hearing that this person is petty. This person could be a Scorpio or a, um, oh, I just had it. Mm. Of course, there are other cards out here, but. Scorpio is what I heard in my head just now. Or like I thought in my head. You know what I'm saying? Um, huh. Mm -hmm. This person will never tell you that they... They pray for you or about you, okay? This is very obsessed. This person, they will never tell you that they think about you all the time. They literally think about you all the time. And they pray about you. I'm hearing they even dream about you. They, they even dream about you. For a lot of them, a lot of, for, for some, most, blah, blah, blah. for most of you, this person, their mental energy, the mental energy that they're putting towards you is like a manifestation type of energy. They're trying to manifest something with their mind, whether that's consciously or subconsciously. Okay. Huh. Yeah, this person, I feel like this person 
if this is romantic, which I definitely feel like for many of you it is, this person is like obsessed with the idea of you guys together, right? They have this idea in their head about you um, and what you guys would be like together. And they are always like projecting this outward. It's hard to explain. Hmm. Why would they never tell you this? Mm. I don't know. If you think this is creepy, I guess that's why they might feel like you they wouldn't they would never tell you. I guess well yeah. Oh, they would feel weak. Now, I have to reiterate, the spell work stuff is not for everybody, okay? So, it's not for everybody. Some of you, this person is not doing, like, a lot of you, this person is not doing spells on you, okay? For a select few of you, this person could be, okay? I say protect yourself regardless. It's, I mean, regardless, this person's energy is invasive. I'll say this. Um, or at least it's trying to be invasive. This person's energy is like severely directed towards you. You know what I'm saying? This person is holding on to a lot of... of um, fear. This person's holding on to a lot of fear. Okay, and so that's why they're they're approaching this connection the way they are, right? They're operating from a place of fear, and so if they can't control things, they lash out and they do things. Hold on, so right, so this person because they operate from this place of fear. When things happen that are not how they planned or how they wanted things to go or how they imagined, they lash out. And um, it doesn't have to be like this very aggressive lashing, but they act out in a way um, in, in a way that is basically them seeking control of the situation. Whether that, uh, it could be really anything, whether this is them writing in their journal or this is them you know, crying in their pillow or um, whatever have you. Like, they do something to control this narrative that they have of you and them, right? This idea. Uh, but I feel like this person... This fear is not unfounded okay because this person knows that this is not their cup right this person knows that this connection is not the best one for them okay Ooh, it's their intuition. That's what I'm hearing. This this person, this person, they're operating from this place of fear. Yes. But what they're not understanding is that it's their intuition um, guiding them away from this connection. Okay. And they're not really seeing it clearly. But deep down they know, right? That's what your intuition is. Like deep down they know. But it's like not clicking for them quite yet. But I'm going to get a message card for them. What is group one's person? What does group one's person never tell me? Mm. I mean group two's person. Mm, I want to hold you. That's interesting. The same card came out the last group. 
Interesting. Mm. I'm hearing I miss you. That's what I feel. So maybe this is somebody you haven't seen in a while. Okay. They miss you. They they think about you. I'm sorry if you guys, I don't know if you can hear that in the background. Okay. So what I'm hearing is this person, they miss you. There's this tenderness that I felt when I read this card that said, I want to hold you, right? This person, it's like a very sad farewell, like a sad goodbye type of energy. They, it's like they know that y'all are just no good for each other is what I'm really getting here. They know that it's just not, it's not healthy for them is what I'm getting. Yeah, this connection's not healthy for them, okay? And with this King of Cups here at the bottom of the deck, I feel like they know that there is someone else out there. They just know that you're not the one, right? They know that this relationship is not it. Um, but they would never tell you the ways in which they've acted out of fear, right? Or the way in which fear has um, caused them to possibly manipulate or, um, you know, just act out in ways that were controlling. Um, you know, maybe there was a lot of pressure, a lot of projections, you know what I'm saying? Like, they would, they'll never tell you the fear inside of them and, and how they really feel about you as well. Like, Mm. This is very like a forbidden like type of energy. They feel like they can't have you. Like this is forbidden. I don't know. I'm going to stop here. Mm. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you enjoyed this reading, uh, I'm so happy that you did. And make sure to subscribe. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, um, ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post new videos. All right, group two, that's your reading. If you enjoyed this reading or if it resonated, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell. Um, so you can be notified whenever I post new videos. I will see y'all at the next reading. Bye, group two. Hi, group three. Welcome to your reading. I am so happy. It randomly just started raining right now and it's like pouring raining and I don't know, I just suddenly felt so good. I felt like I had been waiting for the rain, you know what I mean? Like, ugh. But um, it's like I could finally breathe, I don't know. But maybe that's significant for you guys. Or maybe it's just significant for me. <laughs> but anyway, let's get right into the reading. Let's get right into what the person you're thinking of will never tell you. Um, of course, this reading is timeless. And it does not have to be in regards to a romantic connection. Just make sure to take the messages as they resonate and leave what does not. Also, a trigger warning. What will group three's person never tell them? Empress. 
the Knight of Wands. Five of Cups. You know? This is interesting. So, the Wheel of Fortune wanted to come out. <sighs> All the other groups only got three, I mean six cards, so don't tell anybody. But yeah, you have the Empress, the Knight of Wands, the Five of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the King of Wands. I'm very interested in this energy, okay? Man. Oh. What will this person never tell you? This is a funky kind of energy, but not in a bad way. This is kind of like sassy. This is, um, mm. I'm hearing I win every time. Mm. I win every time. Ooh, and I picked this up and the justice is right at the bottom of the deck. I don't know. I've never... I feel like that means something. I don't know. Okay, we have the Knight of Coins. Tower. Mm. Six of Swords. Mm. Seven of Wands, mmm, Six of Coins. See, this is, I, I don't know where you lie on the, um, in this equation, but I'm just gonna tell you what I feel this person is saying to you. This person, or what this person will never tell you. First of all, this person will never tell you or never reveal to you how much they know, right? This person seems very calculated with the Empress card. This person is very confident. This person, I don't want to say they're full of themselves. I don't, I don't really see that. But this person is very confident. This person um, they have no problem this person has no problem putting themselves first. This person has no problem believing in their abilities. This problem. This person has no problem believing that they can bounce back from a situation. And so what I'm getting here is, is somebody saying, you can't kill me. You can't kill me. They're saying, you thought that I was done, but I'm not. I'm, I will rise again. I'm rising again now with the Seven of Wands. This is somebody who stands in, this, in their power. This is somebody who... Oh, gosh. I'm really digging this energy. I don't know. These have been some interesting groups. I'm... I don't know. I'm, I'm real interested in the feedback. But um, this Nine of Coins... I'm just going to break it down, right? So, uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Okay, so with the tower here, the tower is clarifying this Knight of Wands, right? This is what I see about bouncing back. This is somebody who, it's their passions, right? It's its that, drop, that thing that keeps them going. That's what, that's what allows them to overcome these tower moments, right? This is somebody who, it's like they have like almost immortal energy, right? Um, 
like you know when that tower comes crumbling down the the reason they're able to recover is because of all of that fire within um you know what i'm saying whatever that may be their goals for the future their you know whatever it is that that keeps them going that's what keeps that's what allows them to keep rebuilding and rebuilding whenever things go wrong or you know things don't go as they as they planned right this six of swords clarified by the five of cups it's like and the six of the six of swords i mean the six of swords and the five of cups yeah and the six of swords came out like reverse i'm trying to re read reversals now you know i'm not being too you know what i'm saying i just go how i feel but to me this is really about them saying like i'm not letting the past hold me back right i'm not gonna you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna keep i'm not gonna let the past keep me from seeing the good in things or keep me from um you know finding a way to progress you know what i'm saying it's not gonna keep me from from seeing that silver lining you know in the clouds um Oh, I didn't even talk about the Empress and the Knight of Coins. This person, I'm hearing, I'm about my money. I'm about me. I'm about my money, okay? This person is sitting on a throne. And, yeah, it's like, it's their goals. It's their ambitions that, that have them on this throne. Because it keeps them on, on their purpose, right? This person has a mission. They have a purpose, right so what this person will never tell you oh my gosh mm. i'm almost getting this energy where this person is like there's nothing to not tell you like i don't know it's like they're putting it they're putting it all out there they said it don't matter what you know about me or what you don't don't know about me. Mm. I don't know. It's like they're not really trying to hide nothing. Is what is what I'm saying like it's like they want you to know that this is how they move, right? The six of coins here, they're sharing this with you. Ooh, and the three of wands at the bottom of the deck. Three of wands because they hope it'll inspire you a little bit. I don't know, this person's real sassy. They hope it'll inspire you a little bit to, to hear them put it all out there. Like, this is why, this is why. I am who I am. This is why I got what I got, or I, I'm where I, I am where I am, right? This person might feel like you misunderstand them, or you uh, downplay them, or or you just yeah, it's like you just don't get it. Like there's something here, like you just don't get it. But with this um, will of fortune clarified by the seven of wands, like this person, they're saying like I claim what I want. I decide it and I claim it. I'm in control because I want to be. I don't know. This is a feisty energy, group three. Please, like, let me know how this resonates because I did not expect the groups to be so interesting. But maybe it's because I'm coming with a new energy and I'm attracting some interesting energy, okay? been a minute but we're gonna get one message card group three's person what do they need what will they never tell you just one card please
maybe in another life. Uh. Ooh. I got jealous at the bottom of... Wow. Yeah. Remember when I said this person has, like, immortal energy? That's what I'm getting here with the maybe in another life. Like, they're kind of like... I don't know. This person's been kind of sassy at you, group three. Like, they're kind of like... It's like, oh, well, you don't get it, so, oh, well, you're just not going to get it. And with this, I got jealous here. I feel like this is them saying, like, you, you got jealous. Maybe this is a friend-type situation, but may, it's like they're saying that you got jealous. But they, I feel like they would never, they would never tell you that to your face. You know, and I don't know why. I don't know why they wouldn't tell you that to your face, but they would never tell you that they think you're jealous of them. Ooh, that's man. Well, that's all I have for you today, group three. Please let me know if that resonated. If that did, or you just enjoyed the reading, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you would like to be notified whenever I post new videos, Go ahead and subscribe and ring that notification bell. I will see you at the next reading. Bye.